Tina McDonald here with you to share a little tutorial today. We're going to be focusing on Spellbinder's Die Delights medallion dies and we're going to be making stencils. We're going to use some fun colors from Sukuniko's Memento Dewdrop set and we're going to uh, do some stenciling and uh, create a really fun background which you can use on a card or a scrapbook page or mixed media anything you would like to use at all. So here's a little close-up of what we're going to be doing and I hope that you will stay tuned and enjoy this little tutorial. For my base I chose to use three different sizes in the card creator set from Spellbinders. I've cut three different sizes. I've cut two from the cream colored cardstock and one from a green. So we're going to be focusing on the smallest one. So once you've cut and embossed, we're going to return it to the die template just so that we, uh, we can keep everything nicely centered in the middle of our paper. Once that's ready, we're going to die cut a medallion. And I've already gone ahead and done this for it. I just die cut it in the center of a piece of scrap cardstock. There's no need to emboss because we don't need that for this because we're just using it as a stencil. So all I'm going to do is dip my, uh, my ink blusher into the ink and pat through the entire area of the stencil. It's okay that th the color is darker in some places and lighter in some places. That adds to the whole look of our stenciling. We're going to go around and we're going to complete this entire medallion shape in this and then we're going to move our stencil around throughout our card constantly keeping the die template in place so that it continues to keep a border around our card. I'm going to speed up our video process a little bit here but continue to talk you through it. I've moved my template up to the corner. I'm going to add a touch of the teal up there as well. Filling in all of the little areas. Again, moving it. We don't need an entire medallion each time, we just like to have a touch of color in different areas. Now we're going to use some green, this one's called Bamboo Leaves. Again, just reposition, there's no rhyme or reason as to where everything is. We just want our colors to blend somewhat and we also want our entire background to be covered. By using two greens and one teal, it gives a touch of contrast with that um, with the teal color, and yet everything seems to blend really, really well. Now I'm going to add the third color, which is a lighter green, pear tart, I believe it's called. And here we'll just blend this around. And we'll do this on all of the remaining areas. Once you've applied all of the color, of the three colors and um, just take a look at your at your background and make sure that you have every every area covered if there's places that you feel you want a touch more of a different color like here I'm going back and adding a touch of the teal once again and a little touch over here and then our background is complete but before removing it from the template I'm using my teal sponge I'm not adding more ink because I don't want any dark blotchy areas and I'm just blending all of those edges to give us a nice little frame and when we remove the template we have a beautiful frame thanks for watching have a fabulous day